for those that have been impacted by sexual assault trauma, having a safe place to go to and talk about what they've been through is important to recovery and long-term wellness. WBKO's Lauren McCauley spoke with the executive director of Hope Harbor about what they do to help. Hope Harbor is a sexual trauma recovery center for Bowling Green and surrounding areas. We work with people of all ages who've experienced any sort of sexual harm. Their mission is to empower and support anyone impacted by sexual trauma. All of our staff are very equipped to um, work with sexual assault survivors, um, so we are trauma-informed and um, send, go to lots of trainings and to make sure that we are victim-sensitive. They are also there to support anyone who may visit the emergency department during medical exams, law enforcement interviews, and walk people through the criminal justice process. They also provide crisis counseling as well as long-term support for survivors. Sometimes people don't need long-term supports, but they just need to talk about it a few times. In addition to providing help in the aftermath of trauma, Hope Harbor also does several free education and prevention programs throughout the community from preschool to teens and adults. Green Dot, which is for high school students, and then um, there are our middle school program called It's My Space, and that is a, a program that we have in a couple of the different middle schools already here in the area. They also provide training for medical professionals and law enforcement. And while the center does receive state funding to support the staff and various other day-to-day -day functions, they also need other donations to assist clients. Donations like these aren't always necessarily as restrictive as those grants. Um, and then we can continue to offer those extra things. And sometimes that's journals for people to take home or crayons or coloring books or, or things for them to have to, as, you know, to use for their coping skills. And most importantly, Whitley says if a member of your family chooses to disclose to you. To let them know that um, you believe them and, and thank them for trusting that you enough to, to share that information. And then letting them know that you will be a support you know, throughout that process for them. In Bowling Green, Laura McCauley, WBKO News.